they were known that she was ill. Behind you see the cliff, the mountain that you can see outside, our building, and the stream. Okay? Another important thing, Mary Magdalene, she probably, no for sure, probably lived here. That's what she called Miriam. Mimigda, Mary from Magdalene. Alright? Second thing, when Jesus was crucified in Jerusalem, she was there. She saw. And you remember? It was three days later, three days later when she returned back to his tomb and it was empty. And after the resurrection, he appeared, he showed up to her and set her alright from those seven demons. Mary Magdalene, Capernaum, Jesus walked on the water, and the last thing is that side, okay? Now others we are coming, yes, yes, no. Never mind. They don't, they don't they are not interested to listen. All right. Okay. Let them decide. Yeah. Anyway, yes. the stone that you see here called Magdala stone. Mm -hmm. It's not a, or the original one, it's a replica. The original one is in Israel Museum. Mm -hmm. Okay? To keep, yeah. Under a uh, study. And what you see here is symbols from the time of the first and the second temple. Okay? The one, the, the artist who made this stone, probably been to the temple. Not to the first, I'm not sure, maybe to the second, but he knew a lot about the temple. This is a very detailed stone. Here you see the menorah, the seven branch candelabra. You see two jars, one for olive oil, the second one for water. You know what people, what the Jews used to do in the temple? To sacrifice animals. Mm -hmm. All right, they didn't pray over there. The synagogue you pray in the temple, you go three times a year, and again, to sacrifice animals. That was the way to communicate to worship God. So you can see the altar and you see the menorah. The menorah doesn't stand on top. It's 3D image. The menorah is in the back. There is the altar and the menorah is here. That's why you don't see the three poles of the menorah. Mm -hmm. You don't see them. You see the altar first and only then the menorah. And the two jars, all right? One on each side for olive oil to light the menorah. Remember? And water for purification, to wash maybe everything. We have two pillars. Boaz and Yahin, sons of Solomon. But those pillars were mentioned again during the time of the first temple. They were in the first temple. And we have coins that were found in the synagogue. From this, from the year 29, it says here, Tiberias, where I live. Tiberias. And Ordus, King Herod, Herod the Tetra. Herod, he was a governor of Galilee before he became a king, he was a governor here. Very interesting coin. On this side here, up here, you see, there is a rosette, like a flower. Six leaves of petals, petals. in the middle, and six around, twelve, right? In total, yeah. maybe the twelve tribes of Israel. Israel. All right, could be. Yeah. We have the... Two altars here, one, two, and there is something on top. There were something that there was something that called the showbread altar with a temple. It was a bread, like a holy bread, that was made by the priest. Alright? It was made uh, in pairs of six, alright? Two, two and two, six on each. So six here, six here, twelve, alright, loaves of bread that were backed again. In, Peru, in, in, uh, in 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 that way, so maybe we, that's what we see here, the showbread altar. What was the use? Oh, another thing that we see here look like a palm tree. Palm tree. Because palm tree we have over there, yeah. it looks different. This is a shovel. Oh, you know shovel. why they use it? To clean yeah, to the clean animals it. after sacrificing the animal, they had to, had clean, to clean the altar, the ashes. So the ashes, so they could clean the ashes with that. Mm -hmm. Okay, the hearts. We don't really know what was the use of the hearts. <laughs> Probably to fill the space between everything. Now, what was the use of that stone? You see, there are four bases. Maybe four legs, and there was something on top, and they could put the Bible, not the Bible, the scroll, let the scroll yeah. to read. Reading in the Bible. Or 
Maybe they didn't need to put anything above because if you look carefully, there are four legs. Those two legs are lower than this. So if I sit here in front of it, elevate it. Yeah. That's right. There is kind of an elevator. So I can sit down, all right, and read. And it will be comfortable enough. On this side, you can see, in your side too, you can see four pillars, three arches. Two, and if you look three, through, four. if you look through the arches, you see trees, palm trees. Okay. Now you can see now the palm see the trees. Palm. You see they look different. Those palm trees are they are mentioned in the book of Ezekiel as part of the temple and you are looking at the royal portico the royal portico was like a promenade, a boardwalk that went around the temple people could actually walk around and look into the temple and what we have here and that's something that looked like an ancient oil lamp, or this was used for to smell incense all right you know the sacrifice of pork sacrifice animal it smells bad you burn animal yeah doesn't smell that good. Burn your so hand. you can have that kind of smell.
out nga pala sa aking mga college classmates sa Lyceum of the Philippines University Batangas BSN 128 and also to all of my friends Jax Babs hindi ko na kayo babanggitin sa isa pero mega shout out din sa aking family, Salcedo family sa, Ma sa Rosario Batangas at syempre sa aking mga travel buddies nung time na nag punta kami sa Magdala, which is si Ate Stars, si Ate Bryce, si Ate Jubi, si Ate si Vanji, si Ate Jassel, at yung iba pang mga kasama ko doon, hindi ko na sila mabanggitin sa isa, pero mega shoutout po sa lahat ng mga trippers na kasama ko on that time sa Magdala, Israel. Mega shoutout din sa aking mga friends sa Jerusalem, Studio, Studio 14 Flatmates, si Ate Jane, si Jasley, si Ate Ruby, si Ate Anne, si Ate Michelle, si Ate Venus at syempre mega shout out din daw nagpapa shout out si Ate Luciang si Ate Minday kung tawagin si Ate Lore Pai si, si Leia si Tia Panang at yung iba ko mga friends sa mga bagong kong friends dito sa Jerusalem well mega shout out din po dito sa aking bagong trabaho dito sa may Giba Tarakapo at malapit sa may Haifa mega shout out and to all of the OFW saludo po ako sa inyo lahat mega shout out po sa inyo at sa lahat ng mga new friends ko dito sa, sa YouTube so thank you thank you guys for watching all of my travel videos thank you guys